Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, some people suggested that I should make a video about the tools that I use on my computer, and I thought, hey, why not? So, uh, let's jump right into it. Alright, so, the operating system that I'm using is a Linux distribution called Endeavor OS. It is based on Arch, and I can pull up Fast Fetch here, and you can see OS, Endeavor OS. Um, I am running on x86-64, and I can also just go over some of my hardware specs too. Uh, on well, the reason I'm not really gonna go over them, but okay, for my desktop, for just for my desktop, I've got a CPU, uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, twenty-four. Um, 4.9 gigahertz. My GPU, I've got an AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Uh, my memory, I've got 128 gigabytes DDR4 RAM. And yeah, those are my specs. And then um, my environment here, where you can see, like, I've got a bar. I've got this cool wallpaper, I've got these uh, slick animations, you know, this, this is Hyperland, and um, if you want to, if you want to sample my config, you can find it at uh, gitlab.com slash oglo12 slash hyperland dash rice. If I forget to link this in the description, what you can do is go to oglo.dev um, and click on um, GitLab repos and then click on Hyperland Rice over here and it will be right here. Um, yeah. And then my browser is Brave. I use Brave because, like, I've gotten people asking me, why do you use Brave? Uh, what, a, what about Firefox? Why not Firefox? Brave has all this crypto nonsense. And here's what I think. Um, every browser, there's always something wrong with a web browser. There's no such thing as the perfect web browser. Uh, but I think Brave is among the best. I don't mind crypto. I, I just turned it all off. So, I'm not bothered by it. Um, with Firefox, they don't, they really don't care about privacy. I mean, their core websites like Firefox Pocket and even the homepage have Google Analytics in them. Their default search engine is Google. They are paid by Google to do this stuff. Uh, so I don't trust them with my data. Um, all right. So in my Hyperland Rice, uh, I've got Waybar, which is my bar. Some people thought it was ew. That's understandable considering Xorg has nothing that can be styled as a bar with CSS except for ew. Um, I am using ew as my widgets. Okay, uh, my terminal emulator is Alacrity and my shell is bash with the starship prompt. Um, my text editor is Helix so I can uh, type in it and I have made a video about Helix. It's a really really cool text editor. Uh, I'll get out of this. It's a Vim-like text editor. It has better keybinds, in my opinion. Slightly different, but way more intuitive. Um, and then, uh, this shebang at the top, this is something I made. It's called Cermic. I have a video on it, too. And it's uh, in my art repo. So if you, if, if you want to get this Cermic program, on Arch, you can easily do it and get any updates that I push to it. You can easily do it by 
adding my art repo to your pacman.conf and uh, you'll see that in here somewhere. Yeah, Cermic. I've got a bunch of software. And then, yeah, so I can show you. Slash Etsy pacman.conf. Just add these three lines. Like that. And then for my system installation, so many of you are probably going to be saying, okay, yeah, so you're on an Arch based distribution, Endeavor OS. Um, uh, so you obviously install packages with sudo pacman s. Well, you're right and you're wrong. Um, I actually use Paru and another tool to manage that for me. So Paru is an AUR helper. Uh, so like I can Paru dash SS discord. It works just like, uh, Pac-Man, but I've got AUR access. I don't need to use root for some of the commands, so. Um, and so then the command that I use to actually manage my system is a, another tool that I made called dister. And this is, after I left NixOS, I wanted something to mimic reproducibility. So I made dister. And uh, so, like, I can dister gen list. And if I wanted to, I could, I could actually do dister gen current rollback one. And that will roll me back to uh, this one. And if I do dister gen current build. Okay, it looks like there was nothing different about 33 and 34. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back again so I can try and show you. All right, roll back, distrogen current build. And as you can see, it um, does some stuff. So I rolled back, so I removed Tiger VNC and added Remina. If I wanted to go back to my latest, I could do dister gen current set latest. Ah, yeah, two latest. I love the clap framework. Anywho, uh, dister gen list, and as you can see, I'm going to build it again. And now I've tagged your VNC and removed Rumina. And I can just make sure I'm on latest. Yep. Yep. Um, all right. And then, let's see, what else do I have? For my recording software, I'm using OBS. That's a simple one to answer. I'm using a custom theme on it. I believe my theme is Ratchney, yeah. And then, uh, let's see. For my notification daemon, I'm using Sway and C, and as you can see, um, Endeavor OS sent, sent me a thing telling me I have three upstream updates, so if I click on that, I can... I don't know why it's not working, but usually it'll open up Alacrity and give me a password. Um, but yeah. And then for my color scheme, I'm using Grevbox. And some other tools that I should mention that have made managing my computer a lot easier is NCDU. And this is NCURS's disk utility. And it's really useful because I have a laptop. One of my laptops um, has only 64 gigabytes of storage. 
and this tool comes in handy because like I can see okay my coding directory has the most uh, has 25 gigabytes that it's taking up uh, go into rust bevy examples bevy networking example and I can remove the target directory since that's just where the built binaries are if I go back I can go into bevy spinning example remove the target directory in here go back back I could go here archive target remove hey it's just a really nice tool that allows me to clean up my disk make sure I'm not um, using a ton of storage it's really nice uh, a lot of you really liked my wallpaper back here I actually made this and and to do that I used blender and I can actually pull up one of the projects I've been working on which is these sunglasses um, I can go into rendered mode as you can see so yeah just something I've been working on and yeah and if you want to take a gander at my blender projects let me just pull them down real quick if you want to take a gander at my blender projects you can do so also on my GitLab at GitLab dot com slash oglo12 slash blender dash projects and here are all my projects so you can view my 4k wallpapers um, my KDE6 contest wallpapers uh, my cycles projects where I just mess around all that all that good stuff and what else do I use so there's brave blender I do use discord there's not much to show there I do have a discord server if you want to join it um, you can find the link on oglo.dev I want to send you all to oglo.dev for my links because some of them might change in the future so I don't want outdated links to be in my description so just go to oglo.dev if you want to go to one of my links um, so yeah GitLab repos, Codeberg repos, YouTube channel, Odyssey channel, Discord server, Matrix server, Revolt server which by the way the Revolt server is now abandoned because I don't like Revolt anymore and then some of my tutorials which is just save your system with sysrq um, and some other stuff is instead of neofetch I used fastfetch this is I demonstrated this earlier and uh, yeah that's really it I also use Tiger VNC because I have a Raspberry Pi 4 that I like to VNC into. But yeah, that looks like it's it. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.